Welcome to Jared Kimber's Super Over. Let's just have a look at what happened today with Darren Goff. Uh, Joe Root's knock. That was okay. Absolutely splendid. Splendid. Not too slow for you? Uh, no, absolutely brilliant. Um, it, all he's had to concentrate in the build-up to this is... He's, not, he's, he's bowled a lot of overs, right? And and we've said about sometimes it can affect that not, no, the physical stuff to bowl that many overs and bat. And we've seen his batting's been affected. Build up to this test, he would have hardly bowled, concentrate on his batting. He knows he's got all the skills, he's got all the shots. This pitch, when he saw it, it's probably helped him with his mindset, knowing he's going to have to bat and bat properly. He took out the sweep shot, played it, I think, once and possibly twice a fine sweep and one reverse sweep when he was into the 80s. But other than that, just played with a straight bat as much as he can. Got right back to the spinners in the crease, played straight, and then when it was there to drive, he drove really, really well. And um, Truly magnificent innings in the circumstances. Winning the toss, he's got an opportunity to just bat and a mass runs, and he did it. For the second time this series, we were talking about the guy at the other end. But again, Ben Folks formed a partnership that is quite crucial for England. Well, we said Ben Folks gets your runs. He just doesn't get them in the style that fits into this team. But he doesn't let you down. You could say he's probably under club with runs in this series and he's average. But he's still been part of some important partnerships. And again today, he was really, really good. He plays the ball so well normally through mid-wicket. And he played it so well, the over before against Ashwin. And then, unfortunately, just twisted the bat handle when he went to flick it through mid-wicket off Siraj with a bit of reverse, late reverse, and he got caught out. But again, that partnership was vital to where England are at this moment in time. Uh, take me through the Ben Folks ball. I don't. Uh, uh, sorry, Ben Folks, Ben Stokes ball that ran along the ground. That was fun. Well, it's a pea roller, isn't it? Unfortunately, as a bowler, you love bowling them. You don't get many of them. But when you've got a pitch that's got a jigsaw effect and it's got cracks, if you not look, can I say lucky enough? You've got to be a bit lucky because you're aiming for it, but you might not always hit it. So you need that look to hit it when that one stays low. So it's obviously caught the crack right in the middle on the seam and it's rolled rolled through. Unfortunately for Ben Stokes, who seem to follow him around this series, he gets the P-rollers. But there's going to be plenty of them in this test match. I think you're more likely to see, especially in the second innings, wickets that end up going low than anything else. Uh, Akash Jeep with the new ball probably should have got more wickets, obviously overstepping and all sorts of things happening early on, but pretty good debut. Yeah, good good debut. Should have took the new ball at the end of play, but um, with the new ball, um, he was better than Siraj. Siraj, we know, is a wicket taker, but unfortunately with the new ball, he can go around the park. Um, but Akash, um, he bowled really, really well. I thought Mohamed Shami like number two, isn't it? He just runs in like him, puts the ball on a good length, bowled decent lengths, good line, and got his reward. Picked up three wickets, good debut. See if he can pick up two of the last three tomorrow, and he walks away with a 5-4. We only had seven wickets today, but we had quite a lot of half calls and DRS and everything else. How do you think the India's DRS use or the umpires uh, went with their decisions? Well, Rohit Sharma's had a mare the old series on DRS. I mean, he, he, it's just panic stations, isn't it? Something happens, uh, he has his own opinion on it, which might be right, and then he gets swayed, whether it be from Ashwin or Jadeja or Bumra or the keeper, whether it be Barat or Jural. <laughs> it he just can't make his own mind up. And I think England always have a plan. They trust each other, don't they? And I think what we're seeing here is just that he has an opinion, but then he gets swayed too easily by all his other teammates. And it's wasted. They've wasted another three reviews today. It's very interesting that both teams have been bad at the DRS, but in completely different ways. But I do enjoy Rohit Sharma waiting to the last two seconds and going, OK, if it's going to stop you guys talking, I'll do it. Uh, why do you think India didn't take the new ball? My, my only theory was towards the end that because Siraj had bowled a longer spell when it was reversing, they didn't want to give both of them the new ball, but it still doesn't make a lot of sense to doesn't me. It doesn't make sense at all. He was That was his best spell of the game. He bowled really well, bowled good lines, got a little bit of movement. They could have given him another two overs with that new ball. He wouldn't have had a ball then tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> but another two balls, put Akash on at the other end, and, and his job done. Five wickets fell to the new ball in the first session. It was India's session. Two wickets the next two sessions with the spinners mainly bowling. And those two wickets fell to seam. So the new ball's there to be taken. They didn't take it. 
England had a nice partnership there, 60 odd between Robinson and Root, and put them in the box position. If they would have cleaned England up there for 285, 290, still a good score, two, well, 270, 280, still a decent score. But now we're talking if England can go on and get that 350, 360, it's a long way for India. We'll be back tomorrow with the new ball, hopefully. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.